Today, I'll show you how to do your BITSO crypto taxes. Hello, my name is Nelly. Welcome back to another wallet integration video. Today, we're talking about BITSO and how to do your crypto taxes with the help of Coinly. So I'll tell you a little bit about this exchange, jump into the integration, which today is only around the API. I'll give you some other options if you'd like to go down the CSV route, but it doesn't seem like they currently have at the time of making this video a CSV option. So after that, I'll show you where to get the necessary tax documentation. And lastly, if you have any questions, comment, comments, concerns, we'll jump into that. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So Bitso is a relatively old exchange in terms of crypto, crypto old. So it's 2014 and it's based out of Mexico City. Currently, it is a top um, 60 exchange by trading volume. It is a very minimalistic exchange, really friendly for beginners. And currently it is very popular in South America. Actually, just a few months ago, they reached over 1 million users in Brazil. They have standards trading and a little bit of, you know, simple staking options, but that's pretty much your all, everything you're gonna get from this platform. So let me know if you're using it and if you're using some of the more advanced features. So first step, as always, log into your Coinly account. If you don't have one, you can make one completely free and follow this procedure along. And then when you get to the final paid plan option, you can decide for yourself if this was a worthwhile service. But yeah, anyways, once you're logged in, uh, click on add wallet, which is under the wallets category. So then we're gonna type in Bitso and it's going to be this first one that pops up. So as you can see, um, we do have a API option, which is the one we're going to use. We also have import from CSV files, but like I said, currently they don't have um, their own exports for CSVs. So I'll give you some other ideas, some other things you could do, but for now, let's jump into the um, API key. So let's click on this and I'll show you where to find those on their platform. So on their platform, in the top right corner, underneath the profile option, you're gonna hover over it and you're going to click on profile and that should take you to your overview. The website can be a little bit slow at times, so my camera is a little bit in the way here, but it's underneath the API um, tab on the left side. You're gonna click on add new API key, call it something like Coinly so you don't forget which API key this is. Um, restrict use of IP addresses, we're not interested in that. Permissions, um, place orders, Coinly obviously not interested in touching any of your funds. View balances, yes. View account information, perform security actions, no. Make withdrawals, no. So let me just see um, what this says. If you want to temporarily deactivate, no. So we're not interested in that. We're only interested in view balances and view account information and then we're going to click add new key. So once you've typed in your two factor authentication, um, you know, you have this information here. So this is your API key, copy and paste that there. This is your API secret, copy and paste that. And then you have, I understand the secret uh, will be shown to me only once. So hypothetically, if you mess up this process, just follow it again, delete this key. Um, if you, I don't know, for some reason you may miss, you didn't copy this correctly or you put it in the wrong area, not really a big deal. So go back into your setup. Great news, your API key was successfully created. And then on Coinlet, you're gonna click secure import and that's it. So like I said, there's no option currently at the time of this recording this video, it might change when you're watching it, obviously, but there's no option to import a CSV file. So you can do one of two things. You can try and contacting them and asking them, hey, can I have a CSV file with all my transactions? Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. Or alternatively, you can create one yourself. I've made videos on how to create um, you know, manual CSV file. So I'll, I'll leave that in the link down below. And once your data has been imported one way or another, you can head over to transactions to kind of see what's going on underneath the hood. Coinly has done the most difficult part, which is calculated all your um, capital gains and stuff like that. Once you're happy with that, you can go into your tax reports area. And here you get a summary of all your crypto activity throughout the year, your capital gains, your costs and expenses, your income, and you know, once you're happy with all of that and everything looks correct with you, you can scroll on down and select a tax report appropriate for your needs. And as you can see on the screen before you, we have plenty of different options. For the US, we have the IRS Schedule D Form 8949. You can also export to TurboTax, both online and desktop versions. We have reports for UK, Sweden, Norway, France, Australia, and then lastly, Canada, Germany, and other countries, we have the complete tax report, which keep in mind is a document you can print off and give directly to an accountant. Or alternatively, we have a section on our website 
or you can invite them to set up their accounts the firm here with us. And then lastly, check your country's rules and regulations because this tax report might be deductible. But that about does it for today. Um, if you need further assistance, a bunch of different resources in the description. We have a Coinly Help Center with countless different crypto tax related articles. We have a feedback section if you're having any issues with our software. We have a forum section if you'd like to talk to members of our community as well as our staff. And then lastly, we have a contact section if you want to send us a message directly. We'd love to help you out. But I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.